हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी शोइंग यू ए जावास्क्रिप्ट पैकेज मैनेजर दैट यू कैन यूज इनसाइड योर एप्लीकेशंस इन ऑर्डर टू बिल्ड एप्लीकेशंस व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एस पार्सल सो इफ यू गो टू गूगल हियर एंड टाइप हियर पार्सल यू विल सी हियर दिस इज अ वेबसाइट व्हिच कम्स इज पार्सल जीएस डॉट ओआरजी सो बेसिकली इट जस्ट अ वेब एप्लीकेशन बंडलर व्हिच इज specifically there for building web applications it is similar to tools such as browserify that i have made a video inside my youtube channel you can check browserify so if you type here you can see that it is similar to that you can see that this is again a module builder so the command is simple npm install dash g browserify so it is the same tool but it it is somewhat somewhat fast tool then browserify it automatically bundles all the javascript modules including the node package modules also that you go to npmjs.com and you search for any sort of node package so let's suppose password generator if you type it these are the node packages that you can use inside your application in order to bundle that application so basically if you click on this get started button you will let me just show you how to use this so first of all you need to globally install this dependency which is using npm install dash g for global and this is a dependency which is parcel dash bundler so if you go to command line you need to execute this command which is npm npm i dash g and then you need to type parcel dash bundler so basically it will Uh, globally install this dependency on your system so after installing it you if you type the command parcel it will start the parcel server and it will look for any sort of file which is present so normally we uh, we we uh, bundles the index.html files which contains the javascript file so this is my node.js project so this is a simple index.html it is including this uh, index.js file which is there inside the same directory and here i will write any sort of code that needs to be bundled so let's suppose i have downloaded let suppose i want to download this npm module and want to use it on the browser side so there is a this dependency npm i password generator so what we can do we can install this dependency password dash generator so it will simply download this depend dependency inside of our package.json file you can see that it has downloaded it now let me check it if i open package.json you will see password generator is installed now we simply want to import this so let me just see the instructions so you simply need to require it let me just copy paste this line paste it so now we need to simply call this function so this generate password that's it and let me console log it so every time i run it will generate a random password for me so now in order to build a bundle this so when i execute this nothing will be executed because let me just show you uh, let me just stop this so let me delete this so once you run this command it will create this dist folder inside your root directory so basically if i go back to run this index.html file locally on my system open with live so this is just a functionality of visual studio code if i check with, uh, this console log nothing will be there you can see that require is not defined so in pure index.html terms this will the pure javascript will not understand this keyword which is a es2015 keyword which is require statement so you need to uh, use these tools which are parser or browserify which are mod module bundlers which can understand this code which is written this this require statement it can understand and for specifically for this purpose we use these tools which is parser so right here inside your root directory write parser and then the index.html file which 
the file that you need to process enter it now it will start its own server and now it will build this file for you as this is a small file it will very it will hardly take some time and now in the left hand side you have seen it created a dist folder so it will hardly take some time so just wait it is creating this so you can see that built you have seen green screen here so now if i take the dist folder so in a modern web application you will take this dist folder and you will deploy it to any sort of web web hosting or that this is the index.html it is containing this parcel project so either it contains this js file or also the min js so min js is the code which is minified which will be very few size so size difference will be there so basically it has converted this code index.js code to this code what the index.html file can understand you can see that so guys uh, let me just make a slight modification this needs to be dot slash so that it can find this file so now if i execute this open with live server so you will see it will now understand this code and now if i go back to inspect statement go to console you will see a generated password will be there you can see this is a random generator password if i reload it you will see a different password if i again reload different password so in this way you can make a very simple password generator kind of a web application and you can buy a domain deploy to a shared hosting so this is a great uh, app that you can build online using a simple package which is available from node node package manager so just this is just one package you can customize many packages which is there on npm website very thousands of packages free packages are there you can reuse that code and you can use that code inside your browser so that's a example that i wanted to show you of parcel library so it is very much similar to browserify but i prefer it because it runs faster than uh, browserify you can see that parcel just write it on google and you can just go to it website so thanks very much guys for watching this video if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial